Okay, we're a crook now, and for that we get ourselves a... just... gun. Did we ever get this on the weekly one shot? That's well, running dry already, sadly. I need a lot more money. I want more rounds for gun. Small damage, most materials within entire range. I don't know what range is. Is range like these blocks? Surely not. That's more than 40. Hmm. So what are we being told now? I need to find someone who can work a safe. Just get like a drill or something. Gordon really took it a step too far. He hit the tower. The Lee Tower. My poor grandfather. The only way is to strike him where his fat wallet can't protect him. His precious art collection. Some of those paintings would make nice contributions to the restaurant fund for my new tower. Yeah, if you insist. So there's the fine art. Okay, fine arts is the only available one. Really? I figured there'd be a, another thing right now. I heard on the news there's some madman on the loose. Remember to lock your door at night. Not sure we have locks around here. I've heard about your skills. There's construction going on at the Mariana. A new dock. Could really use them for an upcoming job. Collect. Okay. I want to do the villa because we've only done it once. We've done the West Point a bunch of times. Also, one, two, three, four, five, six targets. Oh, but one, two, three, four, five, six targets. Well, what are you going to do? Let's get those paintings dealt with. You became really good at stealing that trip to Eastern Europe. Was good training for you. You know, not once did I get any hassle around Eastern Europe. <clears throat> Felt pretty good. What's going on here then? What do I even have to do? Steal four paintings. I thought I'd just set fire to them, but no. I actually have to steal them. And there's a whole bunch of them. Are they all alarmed? Because that's a lot of distance to cover. Ooh. Can I tell yeah, I can turn the cement mixer. Can I pour the cement? Yeah, that'd be asking too much. Alright, I shouldn't bang it up too much in case I need it. Looks like it might make a half-decent running ramp. I have the power to make my own ramps, but just thinking here. Ooh, maybe I could ramp a car up there and smash in through that wall to grab myself that painting. Maybe that's what I have to do here. Drive cars really quickly around all the places I gotta go to. One, two, three, four, five. Where's the sixth one? Ah, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> this feels like it's going to take some time. Do we have a way up and in here? Yeah, we do. Cool. Also, we have a not very fast looking... Oi, come back here. Can I crush myself to death? Mm, doesn't seem like it. Oh, come back! Maybe I shouldn't be here. Let me out for reals. Um. Okay, there we go. I'm sure that's somehow going to be useful for what I'm trying to do here. Wouldn't mind some boozing here, though. Right, so sadly, there's one of the paintings, and it is guarded. Or rather, it's alarmed.
got to be some nice stuff for me in here, though, right? Somebody's wallet with $18 inside it goes towards the Make My Gun Better fund. All this neon lighting, though. No taste. No subtlety. Right, well, that's where one of them is. One of them is further up here. Shrivens. Figuring out how to get all these is going to be a lot of jogging for the noggin. Oh, but there's a lift. Could be useful. Anything being hidden under the bed? Well, anything valuable, that is. Some sleeping pills. Are those a real thing? They must be, right? But I struggle to imagine how they work. Then again, I don't have trouble sleeping, so it's not something on my mind. With one very keen exception, I, I don't like sleeping in the heat. Unfortunately. <laughs> when I got a hotel, they said they have air conditioning. I thought, like, great, I'll take that. I need air conditioning to, to sleep in these hot countries. And yeah, they had air conditioning, they just didn't turn it on. They said, oh, we don't turn it on until the summer season. It's like, well, it's 30 degrees now. I'm a little bit hot. But they were having none of it. Hmm. There we go. Exclusive makeup. All towards the gun fund. <clears throat> Still, what am I learning here? I'm learning that there's a painting here and a painting there, and it would be really cool if I could quickly run from one to the other. Light bomb, help me out. Oh, it was close. But not too close for comfort. <clears throat> so, it should be quite easy for me to grab you from here. But would I want to take that route? I don't know. Still, it's an option. Anything cool hiding around here? Like a hundred dollars worth of cool? No. Hey, couldn't he invest in, say, a security guard here? He has what looks like a box for a security guard. Another wallet with my name on it. So, another one here, but once again it's alarmed. Yeah, I'm really thinking they're all alarmed. Da, da, da. Let's check the other three down there. I'm always looking for something I can get without triggering the alarm, because it's essentially a freebie. People demand salaries, rich people won't stand for it. And all these alarms demand replacing. Figured he'd be a bit more fussed about that by now. Hang on, was there one over there? No, that was just part of the um, part of his little lap thing here. Yeah, I guess you'd have to really like cars to want to have your own personal racetrack. Maybe I just don't understand rich people. Oh, that was dangerously close. Let's make a save with that in mind. I almost smashed the alarm right there. I almost certainly just need to drive a car around these very quickly, which necessitates finding myself the fastest of cars. They fired the last security guard for playing too much EU2 on the job. Well, that wouldn't have been me then. This looks like a fast car. You'll be my... Ooh, you are also looking like a fast car. I'll take them with me. You know what? I'm going to take your stupid trophy. And just... Whee! Into the soup it goes. 
What kind of trophy is this? Gearbox, the most shifting during a race. Is that some kind of joke? I'm not into cars, so I wouldn't know. Ooh, it wants to live. Unfortunately, I don't. Out you go. Ah, and here is one of the... One of the paintings, okay. Is that good? Maybe not. Not sure if this is good for the car. But I am making myself a lovely car shaped hole here. Okay, that seems fine. Or if I want to go and quickly grab that, that, and that. But I feel like it would be better to go there, there, than there. And then even then I've got to somehow get those. And, oh yeah, there's the getaway area, isn't it? So I'd probably want to go bit bap and then through there, up to there, 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 and out. Okay, so we've made something of a plan. Okay, great acceleration on this car. The turning isn't that bad. And the painting is right there, so good. I can get in my car and skedaddle. Let's just make sure nothing's gonna get in our way for that. Not really sure you meant to put paintings up in saunas. I feel like one would destroy the other. It is indeed a tremendous amount of distance to cover in 60 seconds, fan of gaming. I feel it needs to be done. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Just getting those two and out of there just seems insane. Still, at least we have you set up for that. I feel like there's a better way to do it. I need to, I need to minimize distance wherever possible. Walls are not to be seen as something that really exists. Kind of like Canadians. Right, that's a good way to just run and jump out. So if we consider that the starting point. And then you go beep bap. Let's just imagine this is the car we're using. We're not, because it's considerably slower. Oof. Let's not run into those bad boys. How do I minimize the time it takes me to grab this thing? Well, this is already open, but what if there was no wall here? Would that be preferable? I mean, room, and then why don't we take you and massacre the wall here? to start. Okay, so that way I can just drive over here, grab that, and then continue on the journey. Didn't I open this saying I'm not going to go for everything, but now I feel compelled to do so. Otherwise, just take an easy way out. Nobody wants that. Least of all me. Okay. Easy does it now. And I want to start the alarm early and undo all my hard work here. Could I not have it like so, so that I can just grab it from this end? Yeah, beep. That seems quite good. The turning arc and getting in here seems less good. Let's make sure there aren't any nasty things that get in the way. Like you. And these cars... 
tiny little slow insignificant cars. Alright, that seems like a freebie to drive up here, pop out, grab that, and keep driving. I don't want these in the way though. Can they go? Hmm, maybe fight bomb's better for this. There we go, that's better. Oh, you're still there? Don't want debris to slow me down either. So then I'll be driving away from that, and I'll probably want to screech my way up here. Don't need to worry about this, because it's going to open for me. Holy smokes, this is a nice fast car. What is it? It's like the Karuma from Grand Theft Auto 3. Oh, well that... That could be a consideration. Maybe I should... Nah, it'll be fine. So what am I going to be doing from here? Ooh, slow down there. Slow down. I'm going to be driving up to here. And then I want to grab this as quickly as possible. And I can just I can just weak it from there. But maybe I'd weak better if there was no wall here. Just nothing to complicate the message. Poor security guard's going to be all cold now. I don't ever recall cold being an issue doing security, but heat really was. I worked with a lot of Nigerians and they just would crank up the temperature, leave it sweltering. And then they'd go to sleep. Quality security. So, lastly is getting these two and skedaddling. I think this will be the hardest part because I've got a lot of altitude to cover here. How do I get up there real fast? I'm going to be about here with something like 20 seconds left if I'm lucky. How can I get up there so quickly? Planking up a ramp is an idea. I'm not sure my planks can be that long though, and if I mess it up... Well, I've only got eight planks, don't I? Is there a way for you to get something large outside and then double ramp up, Jake? Well, even so, I need to get to the very top where I made that hole there. And the approach will be from here. Uh... I'm not particularly good at making wee plank structures. And I don't think getting out and taking the elevator up is going to be particularly good for anybody. There is another way of looking at it where I do all of this in reverse. Because I can start there, be there, and jump down, and then... Bip, bap, boop. And then get myself to there. It's just that this feels like quite the distance to cover as opposed to doing that. Might not be that different, and there's certainly a lot less altitude I need to cover. Wouldn't be a problem if I could find some way to get up here mega fast. A viable would be to just hop through the window, elevator, run across. So you're saying that I could consider just hop in, take the elevator up. Man, someone did something nasty to this thing. And then grab that. I don't know. Feels like a lot of time just wasted there in the elevator. I hop into the back of the elevator. Oh, what was that valuable? Elevator maintenance manual has value. If 
I can enter the elevator from this side without there being any issues. Alright, elevator, let's go. Yeah, I don't think the elevator idea is going to work. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it might be a lot easier to start from here and drive around. Mm, I mean, I could even give it a trial run from here and see how it works. This guy really needs to fix his elevators. So you're the first one. Of course from you I need to get up there, or the other way around. Probably the other way around. But no, 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 I, I need some kind of way to get up to there from here. It does indeed seem tough, but I'm sure it can be done, and we will get it done. But I'm going to take a quick water break. I'll be right back. Right, fresh drink of water to spur on the creative thinking for this heist. Can of mist, Scandinavian water, although I was surprised at how good it was everywhere I went, actually. I think the only place that had that nasty hard water was Krakow. Right, no cinema for you folks. What am I thinking? Either I go up and down, which is bad, or I come out of here and I somehow get up there. And I think, sadly, I'm going to have to figure out how to make a nice thing out of a popcorn machine maintenance manual. No, not out of that. I need to find a way to make a little ramp out of planks to get up there. Let's go for it. He could remove the first and second floor from third floor building. Not quite sure I have enough ordnance for that. I like the way you think though. So firstly, let's not have a wall here. There you come. Stop pretending you're attached to that and come with me. Ooh, ooh, let's be a little careful here. 
There's probably a fire alarm going. That did set a fire somewhere, didn't it? I mean, I sure hear fire. Oh, it's down there. Not my problem. So what I could do is grab that plank, uh, grab that thingamajigger, come out here, and then plank my way up here like I'm Johnny 2x4. Oh, that's not good enough. Ah, crumbs, right. Oh, I am bad at this, and I should have saved before I started planking. How do I get upstairs from here? <laughs> Someone broke the elevator, so I won't be taking that. Is there an upgrade for the length of the planks that I could use? Actually, maybe that works. We can give it a go, but I need to get, I need to stop falling off the place. Yeah, there's not going to be any fixing the elevators because somebody ran off with the maintenance manual as well. This is a luxurious place, but I think it's too luxurious. is inconvenient. Maybe you can remove the wall with the painting altogether and drop it on the ground. I tried that, but if the alarm ever becomes disconnected from the world, it goes off, so you can't just tear off a column or a wall that has an alarm on it. It'll just start sounding. It made me very sad to discover that in this game, but it does prevent some heinous exposure. I'm just going to save here so I, have to, I don't have to keep reloading whenever I need to climb back up. What about starting from the top and heading lower? If I start and go lower, I'm losing about this distance. Because I could run out and jump to that car from here, but here I'd go here and maybe boo. I'd lose a few seconds, I'd rather not. Beep. Remove the floor. Grab it from below. Sounds tempting, but I feel like that's going to cause me a lot of issues. Because if I do that, then I'm going to have to waste time climbing something. I, I want my climbing to be just walking up something like this. And it's so close, but it's not quite there. That kind of works. Yeah. It has to work. That was my last plank. Looks foolproof. No, it looks full scent. So I would start here. I would grab you. Go across this very rickety hole I've made. I feel like it's not big enough. To make this a little less open to problem. And then 
comes best way up here. To you, ooh, maybe not. Thank goodness the save and load time in this game is impressively fast. Given how much it has to load, the level and all the horrible things I've done to it. Right, how do I approach this and get my get my way up? Not like that. How did I do it the first time? Oh, okay. Just arc right a little. And then we grab this. And then I just weak myself out of here. It's okay. My knees can take it. And then, vroom vroom vroom, but uh, I won't vroom 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 right now, I will draw the path with this, because I need to stop and grab you. I almost grabbed it there, I even pressed the button to grab it. And then from here, why do we decide to start doing this in reverse? straight towards this, which I really feel can be opened up a bit more. There we go. Vroom. And then we're still going. Because we gotta go all the way down to there. Don't want you getting in my way either. Wait, can I just sledge you? Yeah, I can. No need to waste my precious shotgun shells here. these down to nothing. That's how it works, right? You can't destroy matter, but you can make it very, very small. Now, how to get over there the easiest? This looks like a freebie, as long as you don't get my way, and you're not going to get my way. Neither will you. Not particularly keen on this because I'm driving towards this. I need to like make a hard turn left so that I can just run in. All right, I should make it clear that I am running in here. And then ah, the painting is right here. I grab that. Oh wait, I could have a second car like this one set up so that I just jump out and drive you out towards. Uh, does the matter the order I do this in? Yeah, it kind of does. I should go for you first. Yeah, we have two cars, so I'll just change the car. In fact, I'll leave that car right there for this. Pop out, blink that. This does not feel like it's going to get done in 60 seconds, does it? And then, bloink, I grab you. And then the final getaway. Ooh, see, see this. I didn't even notice this before, but I could go around here. A little tight, but <laughs> the guy's gonna arrive home, see a trail of yellow paint in the driveway, and think, "Oh no, not again!" That's what you get for having too much money, not enough charitability. And then, thunk! Now, who thinks that can be done in 60 seconds? I'll tell you who doesn't. It's me. I think this is a fool's errand. But, we're going to do it anyway. Oh, I need to go and grab the red car. The one that I'm going to just smash and leave behind. Fan of gaming clocks that one in at about 80 seconds. 
No, you can really make 60 seconds stretch. Left your confidence in Eastern Europe, Jake. No wonder you'll be moving there to find it. Such harsh words. Anyway, I might be moving there. There is one... Um... Oh, crikey, there goes the door. I'm sure I didn't need it. There is the wild card of Japan. On my travels, I met someone who looked vaguely oriental, and they assured me that Japan's borders will be opening up for regular Joes like... like me in June. So I'm inclined to believe them, because it's what I wanted to hear. Alright, let's try and make sure we get in the red car, not the green one. Don't know if the red car is fast or not, but we'll believe that it is. Yeah, cars turn like buses in this game, I know. So I'll just have to take a little slow at the end and not dunk the car. Yeah, I reckon with enough speed you could r uh, ramp your way up to things. If I had more planks, maybe I could make some nice ones, but... Okay, I don't think for five seconds this is going to work, but we're going to try anyway. This is the first major hurdle, and we blunked it. Is Japan really a cheaper... No, it's probably not cheaper. Depends where in Japan you go, mind. Oh, crikey, yeah. Well, I'm glad the really hard part is early here. Is it straightforward to get residency visa in Japan without local employment? No, probably not. Wow, yeah, it worked before. Maybe I need a bit more practice getting up here. So I just lightly took it to the left and then, oh, okay. Hmm. You forgot to put the second car near the sauna. It was already there, hentai dad. Oh goodness, why is this not working now? Why is my hodgepodge of uh, planks not letting me up anymore? Much better. Oh, well, it was until I failed to make the second jump. What about in reverse? Get the third floor and then the second and the car. I feel like I'm going to waste two seconds with by having the car having to go further. Then, I'm gonna, then again, I'm wasting a lot of real-time minutes failing to climb up this awful, awful ladder thing I've made. Okay, I do need to practice this bit a bit more. It seems so simple before. Just arc to the right a little bit, get up onto that thing, and then you're done. But Maybe it's one of those things you do it flawlessly once and think, ah, oh, I don't need to practice this. And then realizing you can never... Oh, hang on, that was it, that was it. That worked a bit. I can go up there, kind of branch out to the right of it as I'm up, and then get it. Yes! Simple as houses, not safe as houses. Okay, ah, oh, except you gotta make the initial jump. Okay, alley -oop. Go, go, go! Give me that. Oh, that was... Two seconds longer than it should have been. And, uh... Please, car. We gotta move. We got places to be. Give me that. Come on. Oh, this is a hundred percent possible. Yep, yeah, just gotta save myself five seconds on that one and we're good. Huh. 
would not do that. Okay. It's this first jump just because of my god-awful staircase here. Otherwise, though, it looks good. I feel like I might benefit from repositioning the red car. The first one that I'm jumping onto, because I think it's snagging a little bit. Ah, actually, let me let me try that. So, getting onto you here, what is the problem? Yeah, see, it, it's, it's snagging on that bush a little bit. I'm going to move it. <clears throat> Planks might not be the best, but they can work. So you just gotta get up, snag it a bit there, and then jump up a little bit more and better. I make it like once every five times. You. A very, very offending bit of bush. Can't believe somebody messed up the elevator. I'm impressed at just how much this game can save and load. When damn near everything is destructible. Must be hard to commit all that to memory. Oh, is there anything good here to steal? Either no or I've already stolen it. Right! Oh. Be like rhythm heaven. Aim for perfect. Such a bad elevator thing here. It's okay, you just need to have one flawless start, and I'm so glad it's at the start. If we were doing this the other way around and this was the last obstacle I had to climb up, well, that would be a. Uh, ah, uh, crumbs. Ah, wow. How'd I mess up this part of it all? That's the easy part. Okay. Is going up those... Of course it's possible. We've done it half a dozen times now. There we go. Flawless. Which is to say, there was no flaw. Right, go, go, go. Oh no, come back! My car. <laughs> I needed that. This ain't gonna be it, but it's pretty good. Actually, it's really good. Oh no! No, <laughs> it's stuck! Yeah, debris is no joke. Right, I can't go in through the wall then. I'll have to... It's better to leave it good, uh, well positioned for the escape. These cars handle really badly though. I know it sounds like I'm making excuses for my poor performance, which I am, but they do handle really badly. The game concept of calm preparation and frantic execution is just so great, says Alpha Game. Well, it's not that far off of Hearts of Iron 4 in that regards. Dang. When there's no pressure, getting up that thing is nice and easy. When there is, oof. Good thing I didn't have to do this perfectly in the weekly one shot. I would have not made it for sure. 
Right, I'll save myself a few seconds by actually slamming on the brakes before grabbing you. And let's take this a little wider. Good. Just ram the wall. Oh, what the heck did I hit there? Oh, that's uh, that's a no-go. No, I don't have any more planks. I couldn't afford getting more. Or rather, I spent all my money on making my shotgun. Bigger, better, and badder. Not being able to grab the sauna painting from outside is slowing you down. There is that. There's also the element of, do I want to go out of my way to go and fix that? Because it's only costing me about a second. Maybe if I get right to the end and I lose by a second, I'll go and fix that. Oh, so bad. Go up, arc right, and then... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just going for all the objectives now. I said I wouldn't, and then, and then I'm doing it anyway. Why? Yeah, there's bragging rights as well. Because if I, if I don't get them all, then people will be saying you didn't beat the game. And I can't handle that. Crunch, go my legs. That's okay though. That was much too much time wasted. Carry on anyway. Bye bye car. Yeah, that is costing me a hot second. Ten seconds. Nah, not gonna happen. This bit's too tight. No. Yeah, we need to actually optimize this one. It's too tight. I gotta get that painting from the sauna through the wall. And maybe even consider setting up a final car at the end so I can just ram raid my way out of something. And this car seems fast. Getting this one is an unfortunate slow one, but I just have to deal with that. Cleanly coming down here ain't easy. That! Oh, you open a different way than I expected. Right, well now you never open at all. Oh, easy now. I need you to actually run. I hope condition doesn't affect speed. Okay, now I can just grab you and jump into you. Now, when I'm going into this, I'm just going to smash into that wall and grab, and you will be... You'll be how I get out of here. I want as much space here as I can. So let's make sure this corner is a bit more accessible to me. Um, that might have hurt me more than it helps me. Yeah, because I didn't... No, you can't. There's parts of the ground you can't actually take out.
So yeah, this is where I guffed up. I reckon I needed just a little bit longer to drive over to here, pop out and get out. Four seconds, maybe? Maybe not even that. But you gotta take this turn slow. It'd be very funny if that pothole ends up doing me in. So, the car, I'm going to take over here, and I'm just going to smash, grab you, and then... No, that's not wasting it, because I can just sledge this. There's also something to be said for grabbing it through the wall. Like, especially if I just smash into here, grab that and get in here. Can such a thing even be done? Could you go to the cliff? Uh, to go to the cliff part, I'd have to go up and over to there. You know, that might actually be better. It would be a smoother ride. Room up over here. Quick turn right. Yeah, actually, I do prefer that than that. Okay, we could give that a go. you slightly better here. Something like that. Or even just cut out that part and uh, have you angled to go like so. The other thing to do is to make sure I can grab you through this wall. Oh, I had a great trip, Wyvern. I'll be talking more about it this evening during some streaming. Uh, some trucking streaming, rather. Right, that's just a grab. And go. Swell. Alright, that's... Seems reasonable. Uh, I might make my life a lot easier if I spray my way around here. And not have debris in the way. No, let's not put it in another car's way. Put it on the racetrack. Add some disrespect to it all. It is an immediate turn right here, right? Yeah. And then that way it doesn't matter if I crash the car off here, because I'm going to be jumping out and getting into my boat immediately. Maybe soften the roof angle at the top of the ramp with a few bullets too. Nah. Grab what's left of this elevator take it up. At least it works, unlike the other one. Okay, back we go, go. Now, I wonder if I could save myself just a little bit of time if I didn't have to go around all of this. And just grab you and go straight over. Oh no, this part again. Yeesh. Nah, Alpha, I prefer to go by the Yellow Devil. I'm sure you like that name. Jumping over my horrible collapsed pile of planks reminds me quite a bit of playing Henry of Scallops and being determined to jump out of bounds. That made a lot of people unreasonably angry. Okay, worry not about the wall, the car is a write-off anyway. Bye, car. Keep on grooving. Good-ish. I lost myself a second there. Crunch. Grabby, grabby. Oh, no. We're not gonna make it. So close. Yeah, 
I need like three seconds extra on that. Mm, I did lose maybe half a second grabbing the first painting. There was a bit of a delay climbing up. Lost about four seconds on the fly. Uh, it's so hard to get up this thing. But I have no more planks to right this wrong with, so I've got to make do with it. Can you demolish a lot? To yeah, you can demolish as much as you want, as long as you don't set off any alarms. There are fire alarms, but they're easy to deal with. Oh man, how is this so hard? I, if I could have given myself a smoother way up by doing something like this before. Okay, that was quite good. Okay. Not okay. Oh, pretty bad, but that's okay. <laughs> pretty bad, but okay. Bye, car. Give me painting. Let's go, other car. Gib and go. Crunchy, crunchy. Gib and go. We've got a few more seconds than last time. I gotta take this one a bit gently. Oh no! I get stuck on a little hill here. Oh man, even though I took that jump real gentle. I do to help, but maybe I should uh, demolish some of the... Maybe I just need to take it a bit slower. Hmm. You didn't get stuck, Jake. You totaled the car. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so I need to be very gentle with that car. It's a shame I smashed it up so much earlier. Why did I smash it up so much earlier? Need to get ourselves some tools or something so we can fix vehicles when we're on our on our heist. Okay, that was clinical. Unfortunately, you can't save mid heist. At least I don't think you can. Point of going through the garage? Well, maybe there's a faster way that doesn't involve going through that garage. It would be cool. Go, go, freaking go! Ah! Oh. <laughs> so close. Okay. We've got it. Ah, oh, we don't, we don't, we don't got it there. Must have bashed money on the way up. The green car seems half dead already. Maybe it's worth replacing it. Almost certainly. But it's practically part of the heist team right now. I wish I could name any of the people from Payday 2 and then I'd say, you can't just replace Hitchkins. No, Hotchkins is a guy in the game, isn't it? I don't know, doing the weekly one-shot with Payday 2 actually ruined my save of Payday 2 because we did the very last mission as one of the first missions, so it unlocked everything on my save file. And now I can't play out the plot. I have a slight regret of that. Well, you see, Baron, this climb might be difficult. I'll show you when we're not in uh, heist mode. 
Baron wonders why I not start with the upper painting, because if I start with the upper painting, I then move to the lower painting, and then I've lost myself this distance. Whereas if I start here and go here, then I can jump out and go along. But if I went from here to here, I'd then have to get a car around here, and then... Ugh, just adding to it. I'd rather take this horrifically difficult plank climb. Which doesn't actually cost any time when I do it right. Crunch. Give me that. Yeah, I can't help but feel I'd be faster not going through this garage. Didn't lose time going through the wall this time though, which is good. Get out of here, car. Be replaced with other car. Oh, this is good. It's like three seconds faster than my usual. Make this turn. Slow it down. Grab. Go. Oh, I got a little caught on the foliage there, but that's all right. Smash it. Grab it. Take this jump real slow. Oh, no. Too fast. <laughs> Look, I'm practically there. I took that uh, that last little that last little jump too fast. Airtime is bad for me. Because the cars control like buses and they also float like bees. Oh, oh man, missed that. Missed that. Should have set myself up a little rampy bit here with the planks, but I don't have any. Thing this guy's got the ability of save and load. Imagine having to go through all of the setup over and over again. Oh, oh, ah, oh, dang. I almost had that one just done in a one -er. Oh, I can do it in a one -er. Right. Well, that changes things. It's muckle handy. Amazing. Think of the time save if I didn't scup up the second part of it. Stubbornness. I'm not restarting this level. No way, no how. We have everything we we have everything we need for a successful heist here. We just gotta do it. Oh man, what's the timing on that? Oh. Okay, at the very last moment. Freaking otter. <sighs> well, this is, by considerable margin, the hardest level yet, and I think that's down to the fact that every single one of the alarms, or every single one of the targets, is alarmed. You can't cut out the middleman by throwing some bits into the water without any alarms going off. Good. Oh my goodness, how do I fail this part now? Is it you getting in my way? Heavens knows. That's just sad. Can make it sometimes, can't make it the others. But as I said, I'm really glad that this is one of the first things that we have to do. Good. Also, oh my goodness. No, lost a precious second there. And I need every second I can get. Too early. No, no, it wasn't. Cool. Hop. Crunch. Keep it moving. This is good. Good timing. I really feel like I could cut across there and save myself a bit of time, but I'm not gonna change this up right now. Not when everything is primed to go. 
Yoink. Hup. This is pretty good. Foliage costing me a bit of unfortunate time there, though. That was almost a bad crash. Now, 12 whole seconds for this. Just don't get airtime here. Just take it nice and slow. Go, 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 go! No! Oh! <laughs> How did that even happen? Oh, good grief. I just got flung from the car there. Okay, well, we know it works. Restart the level, they said. Not on my watch. Launch. Yoink. Okay, timing looking good. Let's make this turn. Screw doors. Okay, grab through the... Mm. Maybe, maybe still good? Possibly. I've seen worse. Oh no, I'm not gonna have the sweet 13 seconds I had last time, am I? No, not at all. Too sad. Yeah, that's the thing. If I just stayed in the car, it would have been a lovely landing. Could have just leisurely gotten out of the car, into my boat. But no, I had to get flung 20 yards away. Debris gives me more trouble than I thought. That lip at the something something lip onto the paved part is costing you two. Actually, I feel like it slows the car down in a rather convenient way. Wow, that was fast. That was real fast getting up. Crunch. This poor guy's groundhog daying his poor shins. That's a little slow out. I think I lost half a second there. Let's make sure not to break the stairway here, because that costs me dearly. Yeah. Miss the car. Gimme, gimme. Good-ish. Now, take it easy. Do not get airtime here. Turn. Go, 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 go. Okay, I was right in the boat. <sighs> I think I'm jumping too early on the debris at the top sometimes. Oh, I well thought I had that one. I was in the boat. It's a slight loss of time there, but maybe we can make it up. Especially since I got into the car straight on the landing there. Nah, I'm about a second behind here, and every second counts. Oh, I didn't. I need to try that alternative route sometime. Hitting the door there loses me speed, unfortunately. It's quite important. This looks very slow altogether. Gib. Oh no! <laughs> the car! I need that car.
Yeah, that airtime. I cannot afford airtime at this final moment. Look, I made it. We're all good. Everything needs to go so perfectly on this heist. No, shouldn't have done that. Car's moving. Come back! Well, let's try something here then. If I were to avoid the route that I've made for myself here... Yeah, I think all the everything gets in my way too much. Mm. We'll have it down. Go, 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 go. In we go, go. I gotta put on the brakes, or else the car runs away without me. Maybe I should be using a handbrake more often. I don't think I've been using it at all this game. And I might save myself a fraction of a second if I took out the rest of that garage door. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, we just curved our way out. Smashy, smashy, grabby, grabby, into car. Get up here, have absolutely no air time. And no! Ooh. Get there yet. Oh no. Oh no. I'm stuck in the car myself. Uh, like I said, just one mistake at any point and it's all gone. Yeah, I'm getting better at the plank jump. Feeling good about that. I was fairly expecting to muck it up there. I did not. Getting in and out of the cars efficiently is a tough one. Especially because you get out of the left side of the car. Shouldn't underestimate the loss of speed from hitting that garage door. This is a pretty tough one, I think. Oh no! What the f Instead of grabbing the painting, I just went straight back into the car. That was bad. Yeah, this ain't happening. VF Mikey Audio Desync is 99% of the time on the viewer's end rather than the streamer's. You can fix it by restarting your stream or just refreshing the page. Don't worry, we'll get this eventually. We have to. Okay, 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 okay. That was a good turn. Great turn, even. Bye bye, car. A little painting. Now, this is a challenging one right here. So, we don't have much experience with it because I never get to this far often enough. Get in there, get back in, keep going. Ah, driving on the greenery is real bad. Smashy, smashy, grabby, grabby. Go, go, go. We've never had a better condition than this for the end. No airtime whatsoever. Turn around. Get into the 
freaking bolt! <sighs> God, what happened to that last second? Feels like it just faded away. I reckon I made it and the game just didn't want to acknowledge it. It felt emasculated by me there. Go, go, go. Grab the security guard's photo. Or picture, or painting, or whatever it is. Good turn on that. Door won't stall me. Grass won't stall me. My turns are a little wide. Okay, car's going no- Ah, oh, bollocks. Lost control of the car. Kept swerving. Plank jump looks like nothing now. I've got a new technique for it that's, uh... Fairly consistent. Crunch right into the car. No harm, no fuss. Oh, I got myself caught on the bits there. I lost about a second. Still gonna roll with it. Even if I fail, I get more ex uh, more experience and practice with the other parts of the level. Out you go, grabby grabby, goey goey. Oh, that's a good time actually, that was very good. Slow it down, get out, get it, back in the car as quickly as possible, onto the road as quickly as possible, because driving on the greenery is pain. Did I grab it? Ah, crap, shouldn't have second guessed. Nah, 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 Batman. <laughs> that extra half second would have been all I needed there. Well, you. Crunch. <clears throat> Stop the car just a little further ahead of the guardhouse. For what reason? Oh boy, I snagged that there. Seems to be okay though. Oh, is it really though? Mm, no. No, oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's like three seconds out. Alright, if that's not going to work, we'll take an alternative approach. We'll try the route we haven't been taking for a while. Ooh. Oh. Well, they'll never find me in the water. I might be better taking that curve because I lose so much time on the, the hump. I think I'm going to go back to the old by the waterside route. No, no, crumbs I should have put on the brakes. Replace the first car with a slower one. I don't know if the green car is slower. Nitro taking the opportunity to plug his own F1 streams. Who's forcing you to play F1? Is it Franconian? Feels like a Franco thing. Bad, but at least it was towards the end. That was bad, that was really bad. Oh no, my car! Alright, you know what? Forget that last painting, I just want to see how well we can go along here. Really well. Jinx, how long have we been at this for now? Probably over an hour.
Well, I went to go and get my water about an hour ago, and that was on this level too. Oh, but I'm so close to getting it done, I don't want to optimize from here. It's like admitting it. Wow, I got there with 30 seconds to go. Okay, we can't mess up now. So let's not... Let's not give us our... Oh no! No, I messed up! Oh, wow, that, that hurts. All that saved time lost. I don't have experience going along here, so this is costing me. And I don't have the car parked for it. Alright, we'll we'll do some optimization. I'm gonna swerve that car around so it can go around the sides instead. Rather than losing all that time and uh Leroy jenkening it around the edge there. So how long do you have on done kill alpha? Right, for one, none of this. Occasionally getting snagged on this is costing me precious parts of a second. And let's make sure there's no nasty debris for me to get caught on either. Just smash it into pure dust. All right, so now we'd come along, room, 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 room. Remove a bunch of the stuff blocking the sauna car. Shotgun the last of the wall down for you. You mean this stuff? Probably not. You probably mean something over here. We come up here and we grab this, and then that's not really much of a problem, then we just jump into you. Mm -hmm. And then what's left of this car should be ready to head on out over to there. There'll still be an element of taking it slow, though. You sometimes clip it as you come through the curve. You mean this thing? Maybe that? Any other debris in the way here? You can be extremely meticulous with this. I wonder if there's more that can be done with you. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. And since some people have said it before, we can bring this thing back just a little bit so that I'm more likely to grab onto it when I'm on my way down. All this to save just, just half a second more and I'd be fine. Although that said, I'd be fine now if I just got it done perfectly, but perfection is tricky to demand at times. I feel like you caused me some real trouble, so away you go. I haven't failed that jump in some time, though. Maybe we can fix that now. No, oh, well, we can fail the very first jump. Go, go, go. nice because now I can see all the way through as well. Oh, that was dangerous. Alright, got you at 30 seconds. That's nice. 
Now if I just don't mess up this part that I messed up last time. Good. Good. Good control. A little slow, but good control. I'll take it. Ram raid, grab, and 15 whole seconds to make this extremely short journey. Just take it easy. Don't dunk into the soup. And no problemo. <laughs> Don't mind me, helicopter. Whew. Too easy, really. Who looks at this and thinks it's a challenging game? Ah. Yeah, and only 45 minutes spent on it. Not too shabby. When I started weaving around at that part, I thought I was done for sure. But when I grabbed this at 30 seconds remaining, I felt good. In we go, and just... It's kind of underrated, but I keep messing up this part. So I decided I'd stop on the paved road, so I wouldn't have to drive on the greenery. It's so hard to accelerate on the green. Right into the wall, grab that painting, which I've managed to miss before. And I do think this is the better route, because the airtime can kill you, or it can kill the car. And then through we go, out I go, and I had like five seconds, so I just sauntered onto the ship. Brilliant job by me. Exquisite, even. This is such good looking rain. Actually looks like rain. I like it. I like games that have uh, good rain in them. Simple as that. As long as it can feel cozy going indoors, so muffles out the sound of the rain, but it's still quietly there. Having having that in the wall isn't very comfortable. I want that. I want that dealt with. Oh, this is so cozy. There we go. You know what? I feel like we need a fire. There we go. Keep ourselves nice and warm. Better rain than the remastered GTA trilogy. Never, never decided I wanted to play that. Good evening, I'm a claim adjuster. Investigating an art incident that happened to Gordon Wu. Mr. Wu claims to know who's responsible. A Lawrence Lee Jr. He's very keen to not involve the police. His accounts caused us some financial strains. Our interest to bring the paintings discreetly. Paintings at the marina. Gordon's been working with you in the past. Maybe you can help me out. So the the paintings we just spent ages trying to steal, we need to return. We also need to tool up for some upcoming jobs. Hmm. An interesting proposition, but we're going to call it there at the risk of burning through this game too quickly. I don't know how much there is to it, but I feel like we're making rapid progress, that last mission notwithstanding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stream down, I'm going to make myself some dindins, and I'm going to prep up a trucking stream, which, depending on how long dinner takes, might end up starting a little earlier. We shall see. But it's going to be a very unusual stream. It's actually going to be like a life blogging stream. I'll be sharing photos and stories of my trip around Europe. Yeah, I don't usually talk about my own life on stream, so that'll be something different. Don't expect it to happen again afterwards. In any case, I'll be back soon-ish for that. So until then, it's cheers. And gosh, I haven't said this for a while. A cheerio.